grade threes and welcome to another life skills lesson. I hope you've had a lovely week and I hope you've been working hard. So today we're going to start off with the vocabulary list. Our vocabulary list for this lesson is reptiles, mammals, amphibians, birds, insects, eggs, larva, pupa, and metamorphosis. I know that the, some of these words may sound like a mouthful, but don't just panic yet. We are going to get to the meanings of these words a little later. So we're speaking about life cycles this week again, and this is a continuation from last week. Remember last week we started by speaking about the life cycles of humans, and we also spoke about the life cycles of a frog. This week we're going to continue with that theme and we're going to start off by looking at the different groups of animals that we have. Now if you look at this first picture I have here, would you be able to tell me what is the name given to this group of animals? We have a dog, a panda, a horse, a leopard, a shark and a lion. Yes, that's correct. This group of um, animals is called mammals. Now remember, mammals give birth to their young. They also look after them and they feed them. We say that they suckle them. What do you think we would call the next group of animals? We have a fly, a cricket, a beetle, a bee, a butterfly. That's correct, we'd call these insects. Insects. I want you to remember that insects lay eggs and that's how they start their life cycle out as eggs. Our next group, we would call these birds. Right again, birds. Yeah, I want you to remember that chickens are also part of the bird group of animals. And our last group we have amphibians and reptiles. There's lots of pictures of reptiles here. We have snakes and turtles and tortoises and chameleons and crocodiles. I also want you to remember that amphibians and reptiles also lay eggs and that's how they start out their life cycle. So I have a little helper today that's going to help me explain the different life cycles of the different groups of animals. Let's go Emma. Okay, we have an adult frog, but it's very different from when it's born as an egg. Then it goes into a tadpole, and then the tadpole grows bigger into a tadpole with legs, and then it turns into a frog. And then we have a tortoise. Oh, turtle. So, we have an adult turtle, but also it's different from it was born. Then it goes into a hatchling, grows bigger, 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 and it goes into a baby turtle, and then it goes larger into an adult turtle. Thank you for your help, Emma. That was lovely. I really appreciate it. Okay, uh, here we have a bird. The bird starts its life as an egg. The egg hatches into a hatchling and then the bird it grows and it becomes an adult bird. The next we have is a butterfly. The butterfly starts its life as an egg on a plant or on a leaf. It then hatches into larva or a caterpillar and then it moves on to the pupa stage. Uh, during the pupa stage there's a lot that happens in the pupa and it emerges as a beautiful butterfly 
and last but not least we have mammals which is our mammal for today is the kit the kit is born and its mother suckles it which means the mother feeds it and then it grows into an adult kit so here we have a little activity that I'd like you to do um, what you can do here is we comparing like the life cycles and it's a quiz you're going to add the letters of all the life cycle traits of each animal and here we have the life cycle traits down the going down the bottom and you would add these letters a b c let's do one together so if we look at lay soft eggs in water we know already that would be a frog so we're going to put the a there let's do another one lays leathery eggs buried on land that would be our reptile which is the turtle so we would put the b there and you'd continue until you get to letter a. remember some of these ha may have more than one letter so it's activity time our activity for this week is in our life skills book and we're going to turn to page 31 and i'd like you to complete page 31 and that is the life cycle of a butterfly and then on page 33 we're going to complete the life cycle of a chicken now remember a chicken falls under bird so the, the life cycle of the chicken would be similar to the life cycle of a bird so we're going to complete page 31 and page 33 in our life skills books I've also attached a link to an online quiz and you'll find this at the bottom of the video I hope you enjoy it and have fun um, we're in for a very cold weekend so I hope you're all gearing up and you're going to keep nice and warm this weekend stay safe and out of trouble see you again next week bye